tell us about your research focus? Um, our research is in membrane traffic in the cells, in the secretory pathway and an organelle biogenesis. And we try to tackle this problem by using light microscopy technology. What impact does super resolution microscopy have for your studies? Well, um, I would say many of the, or let's say some of the key problems that we have in membrane traffic, they could not be solved because it is um, not possible to look in the living cells beyond the certain resolution. And so the super resolution uh, microscopy is a great hope for us eventually to tackle these problems now for the first time. What was it like to see the first super resolution image? Well, it depends on what the first super resolution image was for me. I mean, I saw the first super resolution, resolution image in the, in the manuscript, and then of course I could almost not believe it because we were always thinking that the APES resolution limit was um, the limit. So that was really um, amazing and fantastic. So, and uh, I was even happier, and uh, when I saw my own super resolution uh, uh, micrographs and hoping indeed that we can now solve problems that we couldn't for eventually hundreds of years. So what new insights have super resolution enabled you to gain? <coughs> okay, I mean for the moment I have to say that we are still in on an on a explorative phase because the super resolution is not only you just take it and you, you get something, I mean it, it requires to thoroughly prepare your samples and so on, but what we can do for the first time is indeed to see in a cell, in its natural context, small structures which are between 50-60 nanometers and these are transport vesicles and this is what we are studying. Mm -hmm. So which uh, super resolution techniques we are using? I mean there is uh, two, we use uh, ground state depletion based uh, uh, localization uh, super resolution microscopy. This we use if you want to go down really to the best maximum light microscopy super resolution, but we do this in fixed cells. And uh, more recently we have started to use uh, STAT microscopy, gated STAT microscopy, with the goal to observe these um, phenomena that we are studying in living cells. How do innovations such as 3D super resolution help you to pursue new approaches? Of course, uh, for now, well, five, six years, the super resolution was available, but it was eventually two dimensional. But we are not living in, uh, in a two dimensional world, so now with the 3D uh, uh, opportunities, we are eventually, for the first time, uh, able to image in super resolution an entire organelle, for example. What are the major challenges using these advanced techniques? Well, I mean labeling. This is, uh, this is one of the, 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 the major challenges. Now, just of a sudden, we are getting into terrains also where stability or environment where we put our microscope matters because this is only a few nanometers and vibrations and, and so on. They are uh, hampering it. And then a very important uh, one is uh, preservation of the sample. Like it is in electron microscopy, we have to preserve the sample as much as we can and we cannot use our current methods that we have been using in cell biology with immunostainings for, for decades. So how do you rate the future significance of super resolution microscopy in life science? Well, I think in virtually, um, I would say in almost any field in life science, when these uh, tools become available, as they have become now, available for everybody commercially that uh, they will um, I think penetrate every discipline in life science because we want to see always more and, 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 uh, in, and most likely with uh, large statistics and also in living specimens and therefore I can only think the super resolution microscopy is the method of choice. So finally, what are your experiences with Leica Microsystems as collaboration partner? I have to say we collaborate with Leica Microsystems uh, since uh, more, since uh, more than 20 years or something like that and uh, we had uh, different etapes and I must say in, in any time we have uh, co-developed new technology quite nicely. We have always had uh, a very nice access to the latest technologies which enabled us to further develop our protocols and so on. So all together, I mean, the, like uh, Microsystems as a collaboration partner is a, is a stone that we really need for our success in the now and also in the future, I think. Thank you very much.